Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, it's Blake Damon here with another speed build. As you can see, we are flying into Port Promise in Evergreen Harbour to a lot here close to the docks. I was going to make this build originally at Grimm's Quarry. Quarry? Quarry? Yeah. But it didn't really suit the neighbourhood. I think this would suit a shipping container build the most because if you go across the water, there's actually a whole stack of shipping containers as well as the uh, decorative shipping containers we have just, just here. I was pretty excited to do this build because I like shipping containers and also because I haven't actually furnished a place with a new eco la 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 la, the eco lifestyle is that a tongue twister or is it just me? Anyway, the eco lifestyle stuff pack. No, expansion? I think it's an expansion. Yeah, the eco lifestyle expansion pack. So with this build, I tried to use as much of that expansion pack, the new expansion pack, I'm not going to say the name. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I tried to use as much of the new expansion pack as I could, so the furnishings as well as the decor, most of it is from the new expansion pack. I'm not going to say all because uh, the expansion pack doesn't have everything that you need. So, I mean, it has bathrooms, but it doesn't have anything for the kitchen. No kitchen counters, no new uh, cabinets. So I had to use a different pack for that. As you can see, I'm just about done with the, well, I am now done with the first shipping container. The first floor I decided was going to have the guest bathroom and the living area. This is connected by a ladder to the second shipping container, which will have the dining area and the kitchen. And then there's going to be another set of ladders that go up to the third shipping container, which will have the bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. You can see there they've actually included a washing machine and dryer. If you don't want to do any laundry, feel free to delete that. I'll try not to think any less of you. When I first started planning the kitchen, the counters I used were my favorite counters except they didn't have any matching cabinets. It's those ones that look really industrial with the metal and then they've got the wooden bench top. Anyway, they look amazing. I would love to have a set of counters just like that. But without cabinets, the walls look so bare. Anyway, turned out okay. I found these other ones. They're from the Sims 4 Spa Day game pack. It's not a set of kitchen counters that I usually gravitate towards, so I'm always happy to find and try new things. And I'm glad I found these kitchen counters and cabinets. Now I think I'm messing around with the third shipping container, which will contain the bedroom and ensuite. I think I was trying to find a way to have the ladder sort of not in the middle of everything, but at the same time not have the shipping container be in the middle of the second shipping container because I didn't want it too symmetrical. It's always an issue with my builds. They're always so symmetrical and therefore boring. Uh. Actually, the majority of the time of me planning this build, I was just trying to mess around, trying to find the right configuration for these three shipping containers. It was a little bit <laughs> messy. I had them in all sorts of shapes. I had them one stacked on top of the other. It was, it was, that was the most boring one, which is, the reason why I, I really played a lot with trying to figure out how to put them together without it looking boring. I am so very grateful of ladders though because I don't think I would have been able to make this build without ladders. Imagine having to use stairs. Oh there wouldn't be much room for anything else. Eventually, I did find a configuration of the three shipping containers that I did like that was both functional and interesting. Okay, what am I up to? Uh, so here's me doing that cheat that us builders do when we want to make a fence but we don't want the area inside to be counted as living space tiles. So all you do is basically make the walls elsewhere and drag them like what I'm doing here to the right spot and that way it'll have the fence but the squares inside won't be counted as a livable space. These supports here that I put in they're for the benefit of my partner who is an engineer. <laughs> First time he looked at my build without those posts and pillars he was like what? <laughs> That's not possible. He doesn't understand that in Sims world nothing falls. 
Actually, I had to put those balustrades up for his sake because he's scared of heights as well. And the thought of anyone walking out onto the roof of these shipping containers without a balustrade was freaking him out. But I just took that as an opportunity to make my build more interesting. I think that's most of the build done now. I think I'm just finishing off some little bits. I always do this thing where after I build, I do a once over to make sure that everything is okay, make sure that nothing's too empty or uh, nothing looks too cluttered. And I try and fill empty spaces with some more decoration where I can, just in case I've missed spots. Sometimes I can't find the specific thing I'm looking for at the time, so I sort of give up and then go ahead and do something else. And then I come back at the end and sort of like take my time trying to find the thing that I was actually trying to look for. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of doing one thing and then I remember in that specific room that there's a space that I could put a thing in. So I do that and then I get super distracted and then I don't finish the first room and I'm all over the second room. And then I, ah, it gets very confusing in my head. I actually like a lot of the new wall art that they have here in the new Eco Lifestyle um, expansion pack. Oh my god, I said it right this time. But they're all really big and I couldn't find space to slot them in. So here's me just looking for spaces for me to put them in. I had a strike of inspiration and decided that I was going to put graffiti and goop all over one side of these shipping containers. It's only going to be on one side because, you know, when they're stacked together, they're always like two by two or three by two and the, the, yeah, like that. So the graffiti artist would only be able to reach the one side. Therefore, only one side could be graffitied on. I'm looking at those trees on top of the shipping containers and I'm wondering how they were able to grow so big. Hmm. Does anyone have any theories or are we just going to say that it's Simland? Now I'm checking the lighting so I always make the place nighttime and make sure that there's sufficient lighting in and out the house. I also have a quick look around the house just for a different perspective I guess to see if everything looks okay. And that is it. We'll just go through some flabbies. I really like the way this build turned out, despite its rough exterior. It feels really warm inside. It's probably because of all the beige, which is why I had to use blue as a spot color to kind of break that up. I have this issue with all my builds, they're all either symmetrical or monochrome or both. And that's all I have for you today, guys. If you made it this far, reward yourselves by giving that subscribe button a push and giving this video a like. If you'd like to download this build, you may do so through the Sims 4 gallery. It'll be under my EA ID Blake Damon. I'll leave a link of the build on... I'll leave a link of the build down below <laughs> in the description. That was definitely a tongue twister. If you like shipping container builds, check out the one I made for Pride Month and also my micro shipping container build. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.